Good afternoon, people of faith. This is Pastor Jay coming to you on Wednesday afternoon, April 22nd, uh, with a guest musician to help me today. Um, we are celebrating the life of my mother-in-law, Mary's mother, Christine Williams Earhart, who passed away this morning about 6.45. Uh, she was three days short of her 90th birthday, and uh, we are very sad but also grateful for a life well lived. Uh, she and her husband Bill had a long, happy marriage, raised four children, lots of grandchildren. Um, and one of the things that I remember most about Christ Christine is her love for music. Um, she grew up in uh, a rural community outside of uh, Pulaski in Giles County, Tennessee, going to a Church of Christ church, um, which of course is uh, no instruments allowed in church. Um, I don't know if singing a cappella gave her uh, her appreciation for music. She also played in the school band, the clarinet, but um, she and my father-in-law Bill loved music. He played his saxophone in big bands uh, most of his life. And they loved going to Nashville to hear Boots Randolph play down at Printer's Alley. Um, Mary's older brother, Billy, became a professional musician and Billy and Christine always encouraged and supported him in that. She had as broad a taste in music as anybody I've known, especially of her generation. She loved not only the big band uh, music, but also whenever they would come to Memphis, she would have to turn the radio in their bedroom to one of the local blues stations. And she loved listening to Memphis blues. Um, and if it was just a little off color, that even made it better. She also uh, loved church music, sang in the choir, um, loved the classical hymns that uh, Mrs. Norman and others played on the pipe organ in her Lutheran church in Tullahoma, Tennessee. Um, I can remember fondly uh, listening to bluegrass music with her on the back porch, uh, the latest Alison Krauss album, or she was a huge fan of Ricky Skaggs. And um, uh, in her last days, I would often go uh, visit her before uh, the coronavirus shutdown, and she would often have a, a CD on of hymns sung by Andy Griffith. And I would sing along and could oftentimes get a smile out of her um, but I want to read Psalm 150, uh, which mentions lots of different musical instruments. And uh, I think uh, all the instruments in heaven are uh, playing today for Christine. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And Paul's going to help me do a rendition of uh, Will the Circle Be Unbroken in Grammy Christine's honor. Let's see if I can keep from hitting him in the chin with this guitar. Oh, that cloudy day 
folks who are in need of prayers thank you for sharing your prayer concerns on our Facebook page um, please continue to do so again if you need masks or anything else from the church if you need somebody to make a grocery run we've got volunteers who are at the ready to help out um, join me now as we pray Lord we give you thanks for this day for the circle in which you gather us as your children a circle that can never be broken by life, by illness, by coronaviruses, by death itself. The circle that will one day be complete when we all join together and sing around your throne. We thank you for the gift of music, for how it lifts our hearts when we're sad, strengthens us when we're weak, encourages us when we need faith. Bind us together in the bonds of your love. Bless Mary and her siblings. Bless all who are in need this day, those who are struggling with the virus, those who are struggling with the need for work, those who are lonesome and alone. Bless us all, we pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Good to see you, everybody. See you again tomorrow. Be blessed and be well.